What's up guys, my name is Brandon and Apple released iOS 12 beta 2 today, two weeks after dropping the very first beta of iOS 12. So let's check out what's new and how it's performing here on my iPhone 8 Plus. So first of all, you can see that this update came in at 689.3 megabytes here on my iPhone 8 Plus. Of course, this size will vary depending on which device you're on and which software you're coming from. All right, so now let's talk about the build number and then let's talk about some of the changes here in beta 2. So you can see there the build number is 16A5308E, a pretty different build number from the first beta. So let's go ahead and check out the first new change here in beta 2 and that's going to be in the battery section right here you can see that we have a new look here in the battery section especially in the charts and just it looks just a lot more clean than it did in the very first beta and i'm hoping they stick with this look because i really prefer this over the way it looked you know in the first beta and also in previous versions of ios 11. you can see we have this little charge icon right here for when it was charging as well which is really cool and it just overall looks a lot cleaner now in beta 2. we also now get a new splash screen for the screen time feature here inside of settings so the first time you click on screen time and settings you'll be prompted with this brand new splash screen and you can see you also get two options here on the splash screen you can just continue and you can also set up as a parent and speaking of screen time you also have an option now to see all devices so that you can see the screen time on all devices so if you go ahead and click on all devices right here you can click on devices up in the top right and you can go ahead and toggle between different devices that are using the Apple ID so basically if you have a device on iOS 12 and it's connected to the same Apple ID if you're logged into the same Apple ID in iCloud you'll be able to see the usage and the screen time for all those devices on any of those devices. So if I click on Brandon Butch's iPhone right here, that's my iPhone 5S, I'll be able to see all the data for the screen time for the 5S here on my iPhone 8 Plus, which is really cool. And again, this is really good for parents that want to monitor the usage of their kids' devices. Now in beta 2, we get a new iCloud keychain pop-up for passwords. So you can see right here, this password, this whole look down here at the bottom is new in beta 2, and I definitely like it. It's a really clean look. And if I go and click on that, you can see that I put in touch ID to use the passcode, and there we go, and I can sign in just like that. And if you take a close look at the status bar up there in the top right, next to the battery, you'll notice that we have a new icon for location. Now here's one of my favorite new features in iOS 12 beta 2. We now get a new animation when we open up an iMessage preview. So I'm going to send myself a message right here. Go ahead and tap and hold on that. And you can see we get like this really cool, sleek animation where it kind of drops down. Let me show you that again. So if we get a notification here and we 3D touch on that, you'll see we get a new look there, a new animation. And actually, if we go to our notification center and tap and hold, you can see that we get a new animation for notifications as well. It's kind of a, these are both really cool animations and I definitely love the fact that Apple always introduces new animations. If we go to settings notifications, you'll notice we have a new section here for notifications for Siri suggestions. And if you click on that, you can see you could toggle on and off these suggestions, the notifications for Siri suggestions. Fortnite now opens up on beta two and beta one, it would just crash instantly. Now Fortnite does load up on beta two. If we go to our app store and click on our account, you'll see that we now have a new option right here, a new pane for personalization. If we go and click on that, you could personalize things inside the the app store so you can see your purchased apps and games your subscriptions your pre-orders and your ratings and reviews so that is a pretty cool tab there inside of the app store settings so if you take a look at our music widget here on the lock screen you'll notice that the airplay icon is now blue when it's connected to a device so you can see mine is connected to my home pod right here and it now shows up as blue instead of just the white color like it did before so if we go ahead and swipe down here for spotlight you'll see that we now have a new little icon here for shortcuts you can see right there inside of the spotlight search right here and if you go ahead and start typing something else like I'll search for a podcast you can see that we have that shortcut little icon right there as well that is new here in beta 2. if we go to our control center and 3d touch on the timer you'll notice that we can now actually set our timer whereas you could not in beta 1. anytime you went up and down on this it would just stay at zero and you could not set a timer in beta 1 from the control center and also the start button is now an oval shape instead of just a circle and one massive bug that has been fixed here in beta 2 for most people is that the gps issues have now been fixed a lot of people's devices on ios 12 beta 1 struggle to show their precise location and maps and also GPS would just randomly stop working. Waze also gave a lot of people issues, but Waze I can confirm is working here on beta two perfectly. And then another small thing I noticed here in beta two is that touch ID is definitely faster. It's definitely moving faster. I unlock the device faster, it registers my fingerprint faster than it did in beta one. So that's pretty much all the new features and changes I've found so far in beta two. I'm sure there are more. That's just all I've found so far. As far as performance, it seems super smooth, but I can't really notice a big difference compared to beta one. Same with battery. It's a little bit too early, but I'm sure it's pretty much the same here as beta one. Of course, I will be giving you guys a follow-up video if I find more features and we'll also report back on the battery life and the performance. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Also make sure to subscribe for a lot more iOS 12 coverage. So thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you soon.